Facebook just released their new Meta AI, which is free to use for anyone. It runs off Llama 3, which has been integrated into Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Being such a new model, testing is only in early stages, but with the results we've seen, Meta AI seems to be competing with the other big players at the moment. And after such a big and unexpected release, it seems evident to me that Facebook has been underestimated in the AI space. So how good really is Meta AI, and what does this mean for the other players in the space? Let's have a look at this. So just one week ago, we talked about the rumors that Meta was testing the integration of AI into their services. And after waiting only a few short days, we now get to see what the fuss was all about. Yesterday, Mark Zuckerberg announced the new Meta AI, which runs on their Llama 3 large language model. While still unavailable in Europe, it can be used in the United States and about a dozen other countries. Now, it's no surprise that Meta is getting into the AI space. It's a move I think everyone saw coming but the unexpected thing that caught everyone off guard is that Meta AI seems to be competing with the other big players at the moment. This model has completely undercut the other top models as it's the only one of this quality that's free for use by anyone. One of the biggest selling points of this model is that it's free to use by anyone who can access it at the moment. Here is a table showing how it holds up against the other top free models at the moment. Gemini 1.5 Pro and Claude 3 Sonnet. There are some really impressive scores here especially the human eval test, in which Meta AI scored far higher than the other three models, human eval being a code generation test, meaning that Llama 3 is outperforming, especially in the code generation area here. AI is, is obviously just uh, having a huge moment right now, and I, I just think that this is going to transform all of the different products that, that we have and everything across the industry. As well as the language model, Meta AI also comes with image generation as standard, as well as animation capabilities. However, there are a few important things to note here. The model that was competing against Claude 3, Sonnet, and Gemini 1.5 Pro is a 70 billion parameter model, and Mark Zuckerberg also said that Meta AI will be releasing with a 400 billion parameter model, which would be an incredible 570% increase in parameter count. It is extremely likely that the 400B model will beat GPT-4 and Claude 3 Opus, and likely with ease. As Meta AI has been implemented into all of Meta's services, it is now by far the most easily accessible and high quality model, as the average Instagram user can just go onto their direct messages and now communicate with this model. And the same is also true on Facebook and WhatsApp. And with billions of users across all of Meta's combined services, this bold move is likely to result in a spike of AI interest across the world. Another important thing to note is that Mark Zuckerberg has released Meta AI as an open open source model, making this now the best open source model we've seen by far. A big move from the company, as there is a lot of debate whether or not open source models are going to increase the likelihood of a doom scenario. Another important thing to note is that Meta AI only has an 8000 token context window. The 8000 token context window was a move to ensure efficient and timely responses from Meta AI, especially with so many users likely using the AI for simpler reasons. A smaller token context window here does seem to be the right move from Meta as it will greatly improve the user experience on Instagram, WhatsApp and Facebook. However, speaking of context window, I did do a little test on Meta AI myself. So when I asked Meta AI, what is your context window? It stated that its context window is approximately 4096 tokens. And when I told it that it actually has an 8000 context window, it agreed and corrected itself. Nothing wrong with that, right? I'm helping it understand the truth. But then I started thinking, maybe it's just blindly agreeing with me. And so I told it that it actually has a 16,000 context window. And again, it told me I was right. And then for a final test, I told it that it actually has a 5 million context window. And Meta AI was impressed even with itself, telling me that I was absolutely right. And it does in fact have a context window of 5 million tokens. So Meta AI definitely needs to continue being tested 
tested and improved upon. This was just one of the tests that I ran, which proved to me that Meta was just going to agree with anything I told it. But overall, a very, very impressive model that has dropped out of nowhere and completely for free for everyone to use. But that's all today. If you're still listening, I really appreciate you. Drop a like and subscribe if you can, and thanks for watching.